All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're troubleshooting. The cold's here, it's 13 degrees, real feel. And I'm gonna be outside alone troubleshooting. I'm not gonna have anybody on the other end. So it's gonna be like a lot of double back and forth for me, but it's fine. I'm actually like, I feel like I work better alone sometimes. I know like everybody says that, but I feel like I get a lot more done and I like, get a better grasp, especially troubleshooting on what's going on if I have nobody else with me. This is for an auto auction, but we've always had problems with their pole lights. Top parts of the poles, like the actual LED fixtures for the poles are 24480, right? But there's also a lot of security equipment on these poles as well for cameras and a bunch of other stuff, right? So. There's a transformer that downsteps to 120. And from the transformer, we're gonna get 120 volts for outlets for Wi Fi and data connections and com um, camera equipment and all this stuff. So there's like a lot on these poles. Um, they sent me this, and I'll show you on my phone too. They sent me, but they're, they circled which poles are out and they have like no they're drawing no power and so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook up my advanced circuit tracer to the poles i'm going to thoroughly test see what we're missing that's a nice gate mm, it is cold <laughs> i got this sweater just yesterday and this is the troll coat jacket that i got it looks like a little bit thick but I feel like I need that right now. I don't really like layers like that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna after this. Ooh, fire. The inside has a pocket too. Two pockets on the inside. I love the design. All right, let's get out and put it on. All right. There's two transformers on here. Let's see if we're getting power here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. It's not looking good. It's already not looking good. Okay, well, we're gonna go see. I should have checked if there were breakers tripped first. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's grab my regular tester. Just a quick side note, I'm driving the Bronco because I'm sick and I don't want anybody else that's driving the van to get sick. So I took one for the team and I've been driving the Bronco for the past few days. So a lot of issues for these light poles are in the manholes. So I'm going to try and trace this pole back and see which manhole it's associated with. The problems are going to either be in the manholes where the splices are or they're going to be inside the poles where the other splices are. Usually that's where we have the issues unless somebody directly pulled something out of the ground, which didn't happen okay, in this, this case. This pole is a thousand percent off. And it goes to pull box seven, which is over there. And then two and then, okay. Okay. I think my best bet first is to check and see if any of the breakers are off. I'm gonna hook up my tracer though first, my advanced circuit tracer, leave it here, and then I'll know off jump if there is one tripped, which one it is. Cause I'm sure that this many poles being out, there's gonna be more than one tripped breaker. Okay, so 90% of the issue though is that none of these breakers are labeled and I never know which one's associated with what. And if there is a break, my advanced circuit tracer is not gonna bring up all the way to the panel because there's a broken wire somewhere. Whoever did this did a really poor job at labeling panels and everything like that, but not to mention it's snowing and there's a lot of snow on the ground, which means it's going to be very difficult for me to find manholes. Where's melting? Like a mother Damn. 
All right, so it turns out A-Phase is burning up. I have a feeling it's because the lug was loose, but at this point, the wire and the lug are extremely corroded, and I'm not going to be able to turn it even if I wanted to. This is also not the first piece of equipment that was not properly torqued to spec. This happened to me back in July of last year as well. Same thing, just in the other panel on the left. This is tripped. <sighs> so I did locate one tripped breaker and it actually happened to be running off of a phase which was, should have been an indicator for me but I was like deep in it trying to figure out what the hell to do right now. 11 on one circuit minimal. That's a lot for like a two pole 30. So all right, so that breaker tripped out on me almost immediately. So that means that there is a break somewhere now at this point. Oh my god. Shit is this shit is rusted shut. Everything is rusted shut. Yes. None of these poles have power. I know when I rack big old things. Doing big old things. Would you look at that? This thing isn't even moving. Oh, thank God. Holy. All right, so you saw me opening up more light poles. I started to look around for a break, then noticed that there were way more light poles out than what should have been even on that breaker. That means that there's a break somewhere hot. So I really need to pay attention and start looking for this issue. And uh, had a quick lunch break, but now I'm back. These manholes, like I said, are covered, so I have to find them, and then I have to break them open because most of them are frozen. All right, not what I anticipated. None of these wires are fried. They're all fine. And I just did all that for nothing. Cool, yo. Love that for me. Thank you. I'll be surprised if I don't drop this in the f***ing hole. This manhole was the hardest to find because I've actually never even been in it and where it said it was on the map was completely incorrect, but I'm basically checking everything. The break could literally be anywhere at this point. Okay, so actually nothing in here looks burnt. There's just a lot of bugs in here. If I drop something in here, I'm not going to get it. Check that manhole. Maybe I should. Well, no, because the actual manhole wasn't there. It was in the middle of the road. I think this is the manhole that I need to check. I checked this one. Nothing. Checked this one. Nothing. My next one is this one, but I don't think this has anything to do with them. I think my problem is going to be this manhole. All right, so this is where the problem was, as suspected. This one was the hardest to find, too, because there was nothing in this parking lot, and I was really digging and searching for a minute. But so the people who initially ran this did not use anything waterproof, and clearly that shit is burnt to a crisp, and it was frozen on the inside. And so I'm going to disconnect, and hopefully if I do this, it will fix. it and then we're gonna tighten this lug up tighten this lug I don't know oh yeah that that looks done donezo Done. Done, done, done. Ugh, 
What? Did it just trip out? Oh no. Are you kidding me? Should have never shut that off. Turn the main breaker off to t try and tighten that lug. It's not moving, so it's melted. Um, just try to turn the sight lights back on, and it's tripping immediately now. It's not even like the breaker is not even kicking over into the on position now. Do you want to change that now? God damn. All right, so we got to order two. What do I, what, do, they're not going to have any lights now. Should have never turned that breaker off. That's never happened. We've turned that breaker on and off a million times. What's going on? I have a very um, weird breaker request. I wanted to know if you guys have it in stock or if not, okay. how long it would take to get it. Okay. It's a GE Spectra RMS series. Um, Cooper doesn't distribute them. No. And, um, the cheapest, I found a recertified one for $700. Brand new, they're $1050. And this is the same site. Oh! Okay. One of the guys took a little bit of a electric shock today. How? Well, they found another manhole. I can go look in one second. I'm All right, so you heard the phone call. Breaker is not local, and I can't get it for um, next day delivery because the delivery is already closed because it's already really late in the afternoon by the time I found this. And while I was looking, I found this manhole that was energized, apparently. The outside metal part was energized because of a break somewhere, and somebody stood on it and got a little bit of a buzz. So I have to now figure out what the hell is going on with that. But it's definitely associated with the issue that we're having with these poles being out must be the broken wire somewhere in here but it's a rat's nest i have to figure this out now i didn't get to finish this part because i left for vegas this day but we are going to do the breaker replacement because we got it wrapping things up here we ordered two breakers because i noticed this bottom right one that i'm changing was also blown up pretty bad and i had a feeling that if i turned it off it wasn't going back on so we replaced this too customer wanted everything new this is why preventative maintenance is so important because all of these lugs were loose. I don't know if it was like that intentionally or if it happened over time, but it is really important to torque to spec and then to perform preventative maintenance on it all the time after that. So I just replaced this breaker and I'm going to show you guys on the next video for part two, the top breaker that we were initially talking about. As far as the energized manhole goes, while I was gone, the boys grounded out that manhole and drove a ground rod down there. So it stopped that issue. And we're going to go to part two for the solution. Stay tuned.